For details on how to submit your own artwork to build a Pokemon workshop, please wait till the end of the episode. Thank you, and enjoy. Welcome to Build a Pokemon Workshop. On this show, I take Fakemon created by you, the viewer, and we speculate how this Pokemon will fit into Pokemon Sun and Moon. We go through a variety of different features for each Fakemon, including typing, potential moves and stats, the artist behind it, and much more. This is a weekly series with a new episode uploaded every single Sunday at 1pm Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's jump right into this one. On today's episode, we're going to be speculating about this incredible Pokemon that goes by the name of Voltnoir. Voltnoir comes from the amazing artist at Hubert's on Twitter, so go ahead and check out her Twitter in the description below. First off, we're going to go over some minor details of Voltnoir. Voltnoir's typing is Ghost Flying, which we've only seen in Driftbone before. Voltnire is known as the Witch Doctor Pokemon. The design gives a bit of a resemblance to both Mandiblaze and Honchkrow, but it's completely different and unique in its own ways. For Voltnire's potential stats, I've created it as a fast tanky Pokemon. I only gave it 50 HP because I think it needs something to play around. I gave it 75 base attack. I don't see Voltnire being much of an attacker personally. I gave it 100 on the defense, which is a nice strong number, 80 on the special attack so it can hit a little bit harder with special moves, 120 on the special defense. This is its highest stat. Voltnoir is going to be a special defensive tank. I also gave it 100 on the speed. We've never really had a fast and tanky Pokemon that can't hit too hard before, so I wanted to try and create something different with this Pokemon. Some of its potential moves that I came up with are Nasty Plot. This way, you can actually raise your special attack, so that AD goes a lot higher once you use this move. Secondly, I gave it Shadow Ball. After using Nasty Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball will hit extremely hard, especially when it gets the same type attack bonus. I also gave it Roost. There's no such thing as a good bulky Pokemon without insanely awesome recovery. Roost is a really good move. It will restore a lot of Voltnoir's HP, which will help it last a lot longer on the battlefield. Next, I gave it Will-O-Wisp. A tanky Pokemon with Will-O-Wisp is always hard to take down. Even though Voltnoir's physical defense isn't that amazing, with Will-O-Wisp, it will be able to withstand physical moves even better than before, since being burned cuts down the attack by half. I also gave it Air Slash. I felt that if it is going to have a special Ghost type attack, it should also have a special Flying type attack too. Of course, this Pokemon will get more moves than just these, but these are the main competitive strategic ones that I wanted to show you. When it comes to the location of Voltnoir, I actually have two really cool ideas. The first is a haunted volcano. As you can see from the screenshot right now, there is a volcano in the Alola region. Now, this is a long shot, but what if that volcano is haunted and filled with ghost type Pokemon? This would be a perfect place to find a Voltnoir. Additionally, it also makes sense if you can find Voltnoir in a typical haunted setting, such as a graveyard or a haunted house or something like that. That's all I have about Voltnoir for now. Once again, huge shout out to the artist at Hubert's on Twitter for her amazing art. So, I'm guessing a lot of you guys are wondering how you can submit your own art to be featured on the show. Well, the main way that I'll be accepting art is through my Twitter, which is at PokeballerLuke, of course. I'll also be accepting any images that I'm tagged in on Instagram, which is also PokeballerLuke. Remember guys, only submit your own artwork. Plagiarizing someone's art is really not cool. And this show is created so I can see what my viewers make, not what some professional makes. Also, soon to come is the Build a Pokemon Workshop subreddit. Unfortunately, you need a Reddit account for 30 days to create a subreddit, and I just created mine... Oh. Uh, I created it today. So unfortunately, I don't have the subreddit yet, but it is going to come in the near future, so that'll be another method of submitting your art. And lastly, I do not accept DMs from the public, so please tag me on a public picture if you'd like to submit your art. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed the first episode of Build a Pokemon Workshop. More to come in the future, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Hey guys, Luke here. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, thank you so much for all the support lately. I hope you guys like this show. It's just something I thought of like a, a month or two ago, and I really wanted to put it together. Uh, I, I really like connecting with my viewers, and that's why I have basically two interactive series now, uh, being this Build a Pokemon Workshop and Poke Quiz. Um, it helps me stay close to you guys, you know, having you guys submit your answers for Poke Quiz or your artwork for this show. Uh, I think that's really awesome. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to add this message onto the end of the video, um, and I wanted to say if this episode really isn't the greatest quality, I, I apologize. I try to make it good. It, I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit rushed. Um, I shouldn't have given myself a set date to start the series because I'm literally working on it all the night before at 10 p.m. So 
Yeah. Um, but either way, you know, future episodes will have better quality. I, I do apologize for this. I feel kind of bad. Uh, but at the same time, I think the message got across and you guys saw the episode. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed it. So remember to leave a like if you did like it. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, my sexy, sexy, sexy subscribers.